All right, welcome into Inside Nebraska's YouTube page. I am Greg Smith, Senior Recruiting Analyst for Inside Nebraska. I am joined today by four-star defensive back from Lake Mary, Florida, Braden Marshall. Uh, thanks for hopping on the video, man. Braden, how are you? I'm good. How are you? All right, I'm, I'm doing well. Not as good as you, though. You dropped some, some big news uh, last night uh, with, with a top three uh, late at night last night. We got Nebraska, Wisconsin, and North Carolina uh, that are in your top three, I guess. Let's kick it off here. I guess, what has led, what, tell me what stands out to you about each of those three schools. Uh, I'll start out with Nebraska. One thing about Nebraska, um, you know, they, they really hopped on, you know, my recruiting uh, path early. Um, you know, Coach Coach Fish um, offered me back in September. They were one of my first schools, and, you know, they've been showing love ever since. Um, you know, my first time going up there was the Michigan game last year, and, you know, the atmosphere was just crazy. Um, you know, the fan base that Nebraska has is something special. And, you know, I feel like Coach Frost, you know, even though he's kind of went through some ups and downs, I feel like, you know, they got the right pieces for this year. And I feel like they're going to be, you know, you know, a good team. And I feel like Coach Fish has done great developing his guys and putting them in the league. Okay. And then when it comes to um, Wisconsin and North Carolina, I guess, what, what keeps them in your top three? Uh, well, North Carolina, I feel like, you know, Coach Bly, um, he, he'll be my DB coach if I were to go there. You know, he's he's done it before. Um, you know, he's been in the league. He's, he's been, you know, did it already. You know, having a mentor like that, you know, something special. Um, you know, you know, Coach Mac Brown as well. You know, he's a Hall of Fame coach. You know, has a lot of experience. And, you know, the thing about North Carolina, you know, school, it's a public Ivy and it's a great school to go to. So that's another thing. Okay. And then, you know, I know you went up to Wisconsin for an official visit as well. So I guess what, what stood out to you when, when you got to spend some time up there in Madison? Oh, uh, really the campus. I was not expecting, you know, how, like how beautiful it was. Um, when I went to Wisconsin, you know, my mom, when she was like, dang, this is special. Um, you know, when my mom said that, I said, yeah, this is special too. Um, you know, Coach Leonard, defensive coordinator, he's done a great job with his guys. Um, you know, having one of the best defenses in the country. Um, you know, especially with, you know, with the defensive backs and everything they've done, they've done a great job. Um, they've done a great job putting the guys in the league and stuff like that. And from an educational standpoint, it's one of the best schools in the country as well. You know, it's interesting, too, because all three of the schools that are in your final three all have something in common when it comes to that defensive back coach um, that has done a good job of putting those DBs in the league. So I guess how important was that to you as you were kind of evaluating the schools, all the schools that have offered you? Oh, uh, it was big, um, you know, just, just seeing who, who they put in the league and their history. Um, you know, that's a go that's one of my biggest goals. But, you know, the, the first thing is, you know, being able to, you know, get the educational standpoint first. Um, you know, I'm really big. Got a big family that, you know, preaches, you know, getting education, education first. And you know, that's the biggest thing. But, you know, having the league second is big, too. Um, and looking at the coaches and the history, what they've done with their players and, like what their players have done, you know, putting them in the league or something that I've looked at. Now, what is it like when you get to, and it's always interesting to me because I know you guys spend a lot of time with the position coaches when you get to go on campus. So what, what has it been like getting to get on the whiteboard and talk and break down film with all of these like quality defensive backs coaches? Oh, uh, it's been great. You know, just learning like the schemes and different things they do. Some, some things I don't even know. It teaches me, um, you know, it's great. You know, some, a lot of these coaches have, you know, told me where I'll be playing in their system. Um, you know, a lot of coaches like me at a nickel, um, some type of safety or even corner. Uh, they, they like me uh, kind of all over the place because they feel like I'm a versatile player, um, which is a blessing, you know, being able to play, you know, all around the secondary, you know, kind of helps me, you know, get on the field faster. So it's been great just being able to go over the schemes and stuff with them. What's, what's one thing kind of looking at kind of like your game and, and tips and all of that stuff from these guys that you, you've sat back and you're like, man, I think I'm, I need to incorporate in, that into my game for my senior season. You know, like technique-wise? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, for example, you know, um, Coach Fish from Nebraska, you know, he's really, he's really you know, taught me some um, press techniques like motor and bat, you know, stuff like that. And um, I, I went and worked on it a little bit because – it's always good to have good more things to your arsenal so you can switch it up on receivers so they don't know what you're doing. So, you know, it's been cool just, you know, like I said, just learning new things from the coaches and them teaching me things that I don't really know as much. 
Okay. Now, sticking with Nebraska a little bit, you know, that was the, of those, of these three schools, th- it was the only one that you didn't take an official to, but you had visited there a couple times before, like you mentioned, I guess, what kind of went into not being able to take that official? Were you trying to get that set up before this? Um, and how big of a factor do you think it'll be um, with them in the race to not have, have taken that official? Um, I feel like, you know, being there, um, for the game and going back for the spring game. Um, and I was there for a long time and it felt like, you know, I kind of wanted to say the other official just in case something happened. Um, you know, I feel like I got a lot out of, you know, being there already. Um, if something were to happen though, you know, I would be taking that official to uh, Nebraska, you know, just to see if I needed to look at some more things over there or some things like that. But, you know, me and my family, we talked about it a lot and we felt like we got, you know, a lot of information out of there. Okay, I got you. That makes sense. And I guess going back to all three of the schools, I guess if you had to say something that stands out to you, like the, the top thing about each school at this point, what what would that be? Um, I'll probably say the top thing for each school. I'll probably say for Wisconsin, it'll probably be, you know, um, their defense, you know, just being able to rock with probably one of the best defensive coordinators in the whole uh, whole college football. Um, that's probably one of the biggest things for them. Um, for uh, North Carolina, um, you know, Hall of Fame coach, just, you know, having the experience that already did it before, stuff like that. And, you know, for um, Nebraska, you know, probably, you know, the fan base, the atmosphere, that probably stood out the most. Okay. All right. I got you. There's a couple more here for you, man. I definitely appreciate it. I guess as you look through these top three schools, I guess, what would you say you're most looking for in a school? What What are some of the determining factors going to be for you as you look to make that announcement here in a few days? Uh, the biggest thing is I feel like, you know, a place that I feel like, you know, I'm going to fit in the best uh, position wise um, that, you know, educational standpoint as well. Um, you know, being able life after, life after football you know, having a great relationship with the coaches and stuff like that. Okay. And I guess my last one here, I'm gonna get you out on, on a fun one. So you've been on all these trips, right? Like what is it? They feed you a lot on all these trips. What was the best thing that you ate on any of these trips? Shoot. The best thing I probably ate. That's a tough question. Cause they're all good. <laughs> um, I'll probably say the best, food, I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to be at Pittsburgh. Okay. Hey, they, they See, they have the Steelers, you know, cooking and stuff right next to them. And like they had like this burger brisket type deal. It was something different, but it was good, though. Like, it's something I never had, but that's probably the best thing I had. Okay, cool, man. Well, hey, dude, again, I definitely appreciate you taking the time. Uh, Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel here at Inside Nebraska and keep it locked at nebraska.rivals.com for continued coverage of Braden's recruitment and all things going on with Husker uh, recruiting. Talk to you soon.